stay focused. Don't be distracted by anything. Devin, it's your time. Back. Play day, pretty relaxed right now. Basically the calm before a storm. You know, me and my dad earlier, we were just going over the game plan. It's not really much to it. It's not really a whole drawn out game plan of, you know, I want you to do this right here and do that. No, I'm basically just break my opponent down, um, use my jab, use my ring generalship, and um, come up victorious, you know. We've been preparing our whole life for this moment. So. Me and, me and my dad, we got an understanding of what I should do, and you know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been working, you know, so much for so long, so. Special rules meeting and the gloves at the, at the, at the win. At the I mean, at the fight, too. So, then I need a signature here, and then you rep right here. You can step up. My opponent, you know, I believe he's gonna kind of fight. I believe he's gonna try to put the pressure on me. 141 and a quarter. But I believe that eventually I'm gonna break him down, stop him or knock him out. Okay. When I'm getting my hands wrapped, when I'm lacing up my boots, you know, when I'm putting on my uniform, you know, that's that's when it's all getting real. You know, that's when the butterflies set in and that's when I know it's time. You see what it is. Lord Devin Haney, the fastest man alive. You finna see Superman speed. You dig and watch this sucker fall to his knees. Yes, sir, and the crowd will be happy and pleased. The ring walk is very important to me, you know. That's like the, the swag on it, you know. That's like, you know, it's, you know, making me just feel like home, you know. Me and Kev, we've been supporting each other for a, a while now. You know, I met him a long time ago in Boston. You know, we've just been keeping in contact, supporting each other. Yeah, I used to box when I was young, and I've always been a fan of the sport. Music, it, it, it coincides with boxing because you got to work out to something. And when people tell me, Kevin, I train hard to, to your songs, and your songs what got me through the last two, three weeks of training, and your song, the one I played right before I got my win, and you know, it's, a, it's rewarding to even hear things like that. I'm proud of Devin. He's always been like a younger brother to me. Oh, we're gonna kick some ass today, you know what I mean? The, the hard part, the work was, was uh, two months ago, you know, eight weeks, six weeks, whatever. Uh, this is what we call performance time. We perform everything we rehearsed in the gym. So it's about just performing. I wanted to come out here, man, and just talk to you, man, and just tell you that, you know, you did a great job, man. You know what I mean? I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to commend you on that. And also, I, I want you to, you know, also know that, man, I, I'm, I'm really proud of you for handling your business. You know, you always told me that I could, you know, and you taught me, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. That's what that's what I, that's what pops want to hear. You know? Kevin Haney's only 19 years old, and there's a tendency to be fascinated with the fact that he's done what he's done before he's even 20. But eventually, what's going to happen is we're going to forget about his age and just look at the fighter. If a guy ties up, you you let us work through it, or what? Or yes, you know? I'll let somebody work through it. Now, if it's excessive and it's, you're tied up too much, don't say stop. I like to break What impresses guys. me most about him is his comfort in the ring, his maturity. He looks like a guy who's been fighting for a very long time. He's got experience that belies his age. Today's a step up against Juan Carlos Burgos. 30 years old, comes out of Mexico, been a pro for 14 years. In 2013, Burgos challenged Mikey Garcia for a junior lightweight title. His record now stands at 33 wins, two losses, two draws, 21 knockouts, but his two losses both came at the championship level.
Devin Haney is a kid with a chance to really be special. First and last, first and last. He has a nice chopping right hand. Good jab. He has a very good jab. He did say he's been working in his inside game, and we're seeing it right now. We're leaning on it. We're leaning on that poke. Damn! Picking the shots carefully. Excellent round. By far the best for him. Much better. Much better. Then I'll tell you. That's what I'm telling you. Much better. Fucking right. Fucking right. As yeah. long as you listen to your defense and counter. Everything is open. Okay? Okay. Everything is open. How you feeling? Great. You beating the shit out of him. Let's go. He said, seconds out. Let's go, gentlemen. Two and three. Put that brick on him. Haney offering up different looks. Good left hand. That staggered him. He's a throw down. Burgos in big trouble. The legs are gone. Haney steps in. Haney just stalking Burgos. Back to the ropes. Left hand is a combination from Haney. Burgos still in trouble. There we go, there we go. Good right hand, another combination. With shoulder roll, let's not forget that Floyd Mayweather Sr. has been one of his teachers. There's a good right hand again. And that's how Burgos, and another right hand. Another combination, another right hand on the left. There's another right hand, and another, and a third. You know, these are the kind of fights you need before you fight for a world title. Tough fight. All right, let's go to the center of the ring. Thomas Trevor, let's make it all official. Thomas. All in favor of your winner, and now the IBF North American Lightweight Champion, Devin the Dream. I feel like Burgo has brought the best out of me. Like I thought that he was going to do. I, I knew he was tough. I knew he was coming to fight. And I feel like he brought out the best of Devin Haney. I got cut a little bit, a little bit banged up. But uh, you know, other than that, I feel great. As soon as this cut heals, I look to get back in the ring. At this point, we can expect a lot from Devin Haney. 2019 should be the year that he emerges as a legitimate contender. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs>